So far, we've only touched on four variable types, numbers, strings, booleans, and arrays. The fifth type are objects. So let's go ahead and create some objects. So the first one I'm going to create is, let's just say Honda, and it's equal to, and I'll do model civic, comma, year, say 2014, comma, color, blue. All right, so this is an object, and you frequently heard that JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language, and we're going to get a lot more into that later on. For now, what I want you to know is that almost everything in JavaScript is an object, and you interact with it like you would an object, and you're about to see exactly why. You've noticed we've been using a lot of periods to connect certain things, um, and a lot of that is based on objects. So if we want to access the information inside of our Honda object, we can do console.log Honda dot model. So let's go see what this shows. And just clear that. Refresh. And it shows civic. So we're accessing this data by using a period. So we're saying, look, in Honda, there's a property called model. Display that property's value. So these are properties and these are values. You can put as many as you want. There can just be one as long as the, there's a comma that separates them. You're all good to go. So let's say we wanted to make another one. Let's make a few here. Let's go with Toyota. And we'll go with 2000 and red. And we'll go with Ford Mustang. Go with 2005 and black. So we have these three objects now and we can access them all the same exact way. We can go Toyota Ford. We'll display it. And then we see Civic, Camry, Mustang. And that's how you go about accessing a object's data. The last thing I want to show you here is changing the value of an object. It's actually really easy. It's very similar to how you change the value of any other variable, except you need to access that individual property. So we can do Ford.model equals F150. We'll save it. And now we're saving it before we do console.log. And I'll do another one before we change it. So you can see both there. We'll pull back, delete those refresh and we see Mustang Civic Camry F-150. So now it's changed to F-150. So that's it. That's how easy it is just to change the value. You just have to use dot notation, which is the period. So dot notation is how you gain access to the properties of a object.